Hey everyone, welcome back to another Anime Kingdom Manga Reviews. You see my chapter below? Yes, this is on chapter 184 of Shokugeki no Soma. And pretty much this is the chapter that we finally get to, you know, see the reasoning, see why Hayama decided to join Central. And of course, just like we pretty much all predicted, just like we pretty much guessed would happen, it does, of course, you know, we saw in the last chapter, it had something to do with June and the Shiomi seminar. And guess what? Yeah, it does. Azami's a dick, of course. We already knew that. And the reasoning why Hayama had to join, because we all knew that he wouldn't just join just because he wants to, like, I want to join because I want to be part of the Elite 10. You know, he wouldn't want to join that way, you know? So. There had to be a reason. And you even see that he didn't want to join at first when uh, Azami pretty much told him to join, you know, Central and all that kind of stuff. He pretty much didn't want to. We figure out that it's pretty much, yeah, Azami and Central aren't playing fair. And, of course, they end up making all the people who give the funding to Shiomi Seminar stop funding them. And that is the reasoning why at first everything looks bad. But even then, you know that Hayama wouldn't do that. Jun wouldn't let him go and join because of those reasons you know has to be something else and of course it is it has to do with all the research that Jun has the Shiomi seminar has probably even research that she has been doing before she even you know found Hayama as a possibility so this is a lot of research that they need and pretty much a zombie's being a dick and blackmailing it uh, them pretty much you know he'll I guess I don't know destroy it maybe or never give it to them something along those lines so that's of course why Hayama ends up having to join Central and why he ends up having to go against Soma all because of course Azami and Central are dicks and that's just how they roll so pretty much what happens in this after that of course you know you get your fan service in it um, all you girls and guys if you like that kind of stuff you get to see Dojima I don't know how many times we've seen this array he just walks over there like hey look at me I'm super tick look at my ding -a -ling just flowing in the wind and that's pretty much every time like I think has there, I, I have a feeling it's only been like two times but it feels like it's been way more like it's been several times and this is just a reoccurring thing that they always find Dojima in the bath like full-blown naked showing off his muscles and you have a moment where Soma just walks in like okay yeah hey yeah and they're just doing the same thing and normally anyone else would be like holy shit um that's okay you don't need to be showing that to me I'll go out <laughs> but of course it's like it's a natural thing pretty much for this show um but yeah pretty much that's what happens you end up talking Soma ends up rushing out to um confront Hayama and we see this I gotta admit the way they drew Soma's face in this the thumbnail as you, see, you guys see from my video pure epic like right when he's like pretty much says what, what was it exactly I'd never lose to someone that pathetic I was full on like <laughs> he's calling you out Hayama and it worked because Hayama was pissed off pretty much saying you know Soma wouldn't just lay down and let that happen he would fight for it and like Hayama he does that he's never gonna lose to someone like that and of course Hayama takes the bait pretty much like pissed off he's like you know you want you want you want me to be serious then fine and boom next chapter is going to be the battle to which I honestly cannot wait for it's probably going to be a pretty epic battle who will win the battle of the bear meat in this next one you know like I still have a feeling someone's just going to win for one being obviously the last time Hayama won and it would just make natural for Soma to be able to beat him this time another thing is that Soma I'm pretty sure if I'm wrong about this I'm pretty sure this is part of the exams and if he loses he's going to get kicked out so they're not going to kick Soma out of the school so I'm pretty sure that he has to win this no matter what, which is kind of sucky. I hate the kind of stuff when it shows this, like, you know that Soma is going to win because he can't lose. If he loses, he's going to be out of the school and that can't happen. He can't be expelled, you know? So that's when, when these kind of things happen, it kind of makes it a little bit less, you know, exciting to be looking forward to. But overall, I'm still excited to see how everything will go in this. Will Soma be able to beat Hayama since even Dojima and everyone was saying that Hayama's like on another level, that he's way better than he was at the autumn elections. So it should be pretty exciting to see how this will go down. And if Hayama does lose, like I'm predicting, what's going to happen to Jun? What's going to happen to the Shiomi seminar? Will everything still be okay because he still joined the Elite 10? Or is it because he failed and lost to Soma that all of that's going to be gone? And then, of course, this other thing is, where is Shiomi? Where's June? I've been wondering this whole time 
that like she wouldn't just let this happen right so i'm guessing that hayama is keeping a secret and you know she's probably at the place that they're having the new funding kind of stuff from central without her knowing and that's why she's not there but there may be a possibility i can definitely see it where she comes running in tries to stop him or tries to tell him to do something differently to change the way he's thinking up and say it's okay if all this kind of stuff happens and i'm definitely predicting that something like that happens i'm definitely predicting that june will appear in this next battle and something's going to change for helma and it should be pretty interesting to see to say the least and another thing is of course that there was two other people two or three other people i forget how much other people that joined the elite 10 so there may be a chance that we may see the other rebels go against them i don't know if we're going to see the rebels have to go against the elite 10 because they're this is pretty much what's supposed to happen for everyone that's why it's kind of confusing that only soma is going against hayama or is it only Soma goes against one of the Elite Ten and the rest of them don't? I don't know. It's kind of confusing on that point. They don't really clarify or show the rest of the group. So we don't really know. It's only been pretty much showing Soma for these past few chapters. Several chapters. But nonetheless, it should be interesting to see how everything progresses from here. Um, obviously, as you saw, he did not challenge him to a Shokugeki in this one. Which is kind of sad. Which means that it's probably going to be like... He ends up winning, and then someone's like, oh, wait, I forgot to challenge him to Shokugeki kind of thing. So he's not going to be part of the Elite 10, which I thought would be pretty interesting to see. You know, Soma gets into Elite 10, doesn't get kicked out by a zombie somehow, and then the rest of them, you know, the Rebels slowly approach and push the Elite 10 out and, of course, defeat Central like that. Something like that. I could definitely see that being possible. It would be pretty cool. But I'm guessing that's not going to happen right now. So it kind of confuses them. Kind of confuses me on where they're going to be going from here after these exams. How are they going to beat, you know, Central and everything like that. That's still the main story plot. <clears throat> Sorry, story plot on what's going on. So it should be interesting to see how this battle goes. What's going to come become of it, you know, for Soma and Hayama. And what's going to happen after this is all over. Will, how the, will this arc continue or will it end after this kind of point? I'm not too sure. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. Hope you enjoy this anime kingdom manga review. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. There's anything I missed, and you want to talk about, comment below as well. Um, if you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like. If you haven't already, feel free to subscribe for more content. Really just help the channel. And if you want to, feel free to comment your thoughts on how you felt about this chapter. Are you excited for the rest? You know, what's to come? Good or bad? Anything you guys want to say, feel free to comment below. It's always interesting to hear your guys' thoughts on everything. But yeah, that's all I got to say, guys. So I can't honestly can't wait to see next chapter. Definitely excited to see how everything will go down in that one. But of course, as usual, we'll just have to wait another week. So yeah, till next time, guys. See ya.